It is fascinating watching the artist at work. From these first few tentative lines, the artist's creativity will sweep us up and take us away to a poetic world. Even though it is only the first few lines going down here, the most important creative decisions have already been made by the artist as she looks at the model and decides which part of the poetry she sees and feels she wants to capture or express. In this case, it is the mysteriousness and sensuality in the eye beneath the hat. The importance of a decision like that cannot be overemphasized. Feelings are present from the first look, and every creative decision should reinforce those feelings. Creative decisions should not be left to the end of the picture, and should not be confused with the final flourishes at the end of the work, which are often more decorative than fundamental to true artistic creativity. A drawing is like a house. It needs to be built on a strong foundation, otherwise it is always in danger of falling down. A second creative decision right at the beginning was to use the salmony pink coloured paper which has the rich sensual qualities that help to convey that feeling that Ingrid felt as she first looked at Olivia. She also chooses to use brush and acrylics as they have the power to match the subjects. Because to me it's the the model, Olivia, sitting there, is a drama in all her light and shadow. Yeah, so I want the structure, structure of the face and how it went, how the shadows went with yeah. the hat. I was a bit concerned about the arm going back over this way, that it would take it too far out of the picture and not have it coming back round. But it's okay. And then I was able to emphasise the rhythm with carrying this colour up through here and then getting the, the um, contramotion here. As she worked, Ingrid kept in mind her vision of what she was seeking to achieve. This purposefulness informed her lines and other marks as she explored their potential. You are not a camera with the job of merely showing what something looks like. You're an artist, sensitive to your thoughts and heart and that of your subject. As you work, use exaggeration and mute other things in order to convey the emotive and intangible aspects of the artwork. Don't be afraid of your feelings. Allow your heart to guide your hand. Contrast attracts the eye and provides atmosphere. We can't help but respond to emotion that is implied by contrasts. Choices like high key or low key 
should be made to convey your vision, not merely because you like the look of pictures done that way. Line should be the dancing partner of your ideas and feelings, rather than be done in the manner that you always do, because you like a particular style. Style that is imposed is never really a style. Style is an unconscious thing that develops in your work due to your personality. So let your personality flow and allow your lines to follow your response to the subject. Colour in this drawing is used very effectively because the red carries the feeling of emotive life behind Olivia's eyes. Colour complements tone and line but should never be overused. I, yeah, I, I just go wow. <laughs> I come around the corner and I have a look and it, it's always um, and quite... It's quite bold and quite, um, you do capture, I know Tony talks a lot about capturing sort of um, the soul of a person and the, what's going on and you're concerned about yourself so you can't capture it but I think you actually do. That's great. Um, so every time I sort of look around the corner I see, I actually do see, well, I hope, I miss myself because it looks so oh. beautiful as well. <laughs> so it's like, oh yes, that's totally me. <laughs> I hope that, you know, I hope that people do see it. It's, it's really something lovely for me when yeah. someone does come around and they're like, oh, yeah. I see myself. Yeah. It's one thing to see it in your mind's eye when you're close up to it there, but another when you do see it, in fact, in its reality. Yes. And what advice would you have for other people trying to draw? To look and really see. Don't just do what you think that you see and draw and draw and draw draw as much as you can but really look thank you